Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Imagine you're running a business or earning a paycheck. You're probably familiar with the idea of taxes, you pay them to the government, and in return, the government provides services like roads, schools, and healthcare. But have you ever wondered how governments decide what tax rates to set? What factors do they consider, and how do they balance raising enough revenue without harming the economy? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. Why do governments need taxes? Before we get into how tax rates are set, let's first understand why taxes are important. Taxes are the primary way governments raise revenue to fund public services and infrastructure. This includes everything from building roads and schools to providing social programs like unemployment benefits or health care. For example, think about a city like New York. It relies on taxes to fund public transportation, police, sanitation, and parks. Without taxes, many of the public goods and services that make a society function wouldn't be possible. Section 2. Types of Taxes There are different types of taxes that governments rely on, and each has its own purpose, Type 1. Individual Income Tax Individual income tax is a tax on earnings, applied progressively, where higher earners pay a larger percentage of their income. Tax brackets vary by income, with higher portions taxed at higher rates. For example, in the U.S. rates range from 10% to 37%, depending on income level, ensuring those who earn more contribute more. Deductions and credits can reduce taxable income, adjusting the total tax owed. Type 2. Sales tax. Sales tax is a consumption-based tax applied to the sale of goods and services, usually as a flat percentage added at the point of sale. This tax is considered regressive because lower-income individuals spend a larger portion of their income on taxable goods. Sales tax rates vary widely by region, and exemptions may apply to essential items like groceries or medications. In the U.S. sales taxes are levied at the state and local levels, with rates ranging from 0% in states like Delaware to over 9% in states like Tennessee. Selective sales taxes, like excise taxes, apply to specific products such as alcohol, tobacco, and fuel. Type 3. Corporate Tax Corporate tax is imposed on the profits of businesses, and rates vary by country or region. Corporate tax rates can be flat or progressive, depending on the jurisdiction. Lower corporate tax rates often attract foreign investment, while higher rates can push companies to relocate or use tax havens. For example, Ireland's low corporate tax rate of 12.5% has attracted numerous multinational companies, while countries with higher rates like the US, 21%, or France, 25%, must consider tax incentives or deductions to retain business competitiveness. Type 4. Property tax. Property tax is levied on real estate, including land and buildings, and is usually assessed by local governments. It is based on the market value of the property, determined by factors like location, size, and usage. Property taxes are a key source of local government revenue, funding schools, police, fire departments, and infrastructure. In the U.S. property tax rates differ significantly between states, with New Jersey having one of the highest rates at about 2.2%, while states like Hawaii have rates as low as 0.3%. Section 3, Key Factors Influencing Tax Rate Decisions So how do governments decide what tax rates to set? Several key factors influence their decisions. Number 1. Revenue Needs Governments first consider how much revenue they need to fund their operations and public services. This depends on the size of the government's budget, the scope of public services, and long-term projects like infrastructure development. For example, during times of economic crisis, like the 2008 financial crash or the COVID-19 pandemic, governments may increase spending on social programs to help people and businesses. In turn, they might consider adjusting tax rates to cover these increased expenses. Number 2. Economic Growth Governments want to ensure that tax rates don't hurt economic growth. High taxes can discourage investment, reduce consumer spending, or drive businesses to move operations abroad. To avoid this, policymakers often strike a balance between raising revenue and keeping taxes low enough to encourage growth. For example, in 2017, the U.S. government passed a major tax reform that reduced the corporate tax rate from 35% to 21% to make the U.S. more competitive globally. The goal was to stimulate business investment and job creation. Number 3. Fairness and Equity Another critical factor in setting tax rates is fairness. Governments strive to create tax systems that are equitable, meaning those who have the ability to pay more contribute a larger share. 
This is why many countries implement progressive tax systems where higher income individuals face higher tax rates. For example, in many European countries, income taxes are progressive, meaning those with higher incomes pay a larger percentage of their income in taxes. This helps fund social welfare programs like free healthcare and education, aiming to reduce inequality. Number 4. Inflation and Debt When governments face rising debt or inflation, they may consider adjusting tax rates to control the economy. Higher taxes can help reduce inflation by limiting consumer spending, while lower taxes can stimulate spending in times of economic downturns. For example, after World War II, many countries, including the US increased taxes to pay off war debts and fund rebuilding efforts. Conversely, during the 2008 financial crisis, many governments reduced taxes temporarily to stimulate spending. Section 4, Challenges in Setting Tax Rates While governments aim to set tax rates that are fair and efficient, there are challenges. Number 1. Income inequality, progressive tax systems aim to reduce income inequality by taxing higher earners more. However, setting the right balance can be difficult, as excessively high rates on wealthier individuals or corporations could lead to tax avoidance or relocation of businesses and high earners to lower tax regions. Number 2. Competitiveness, corporate tax rates influence where businesses choose to invest. Countries with high corporate tax rates may find it difficult to attract foreign investment compared to countries with lower rates, creating a challenge in remaining globally competitive while still raising sufficient corporate tax revenue. Number 3. Tax evasion and avoidance. Setting high tax rates can lead to individuals and businesses seeking ways to evade taxes through loopholes, offshore accounts, or informal economies. Governments must design tax systems that minimize these opportunities while ensuring compliance, which can be administratively complex and costly. Number 4. Public acceptance and political feasibility. Governments must consider the political landscape and public perception when setting tax rates. Tax hikes are often unpopular, and if citizens or businesses perceive them as unfair, this can lead to public discontent or resistance. Striking a balance that satisfies both revenue needs and public support is often a major challenge. Section 5, Conclusion To wrap up, governments set tax rates based on a combination of factors, including the need for revenue, the impact on economic growth, fairness, and public debt. While tax rates can be a tool to fund public services, they must also encourage investment and consumer spending. Finding the right balance is a delicate task, requiring careful consideration of economic conditions, political factors, and public needs. Alright, that's all for today's topic, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights into economics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.